All right, everyone, I'm out here at uh, Aiden's college uh, room with my espresso machine. Um, this video is on bottled water dispenser dispensing system. There's no, like, brand name on this, so I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just a generic, like, um, Chinese thing here. Um, it had, didn't have the best reviews on Amazon. I, I don't think I've ever looked at this manual, um, but it, you know, um, I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, I have it hooked up to the espresso machine it's through a three eighths line, but um, it goes down to half inch, I believe, um, at the pump. Then I step it up. It seems to be fine. Um, so I'll, I'll plug it in and turn it on. Um, that's what it looks like. Uses a normal wall plug, 15 amp plug. Um, I'm not sure how much it draws, but I've had both the machine on, which draws I think like 19 amps, and this plugged into a 20 amp circuit, and I've never blown anything yet. Um, but yeah, it's plugged in. Uh, I think there's air in the line. No, okay. Oh, um, when you first turn it on, there's probably air in the line. So what I found to fix that. Um, is just to add a T in a shutoff valve, so that way I can open it, purge it out, all the air out, um, and then close it, and it'll just have more, just have the water and stuff in it. Or like right now, if I try to take it off, since there's water in the line, um, it's really hard to remove these fittings, so I can open it, take it off, um, so I can put air in the line. Um, yeah, it goes into this big blue jug. And it's just a big long probe. Um, and it just sits in there. Um, it doesn't need a, there's not like there doesn't need to be like a suction or anything. It just kind of chills in there. So you could really use this with like a big tub. It doesn't have to be this blue bottle, but this is made for the blue bottle. Um, and I have another bottle down there, and I just swap them out uh, and refill it. But yeah, as you can see, I'll plug in the machine. All right, so the machine's plugged in. Up oh, there it goes, pumping water. This thing's actually—that's the sound it makes when it's running. It's not that bad, um, especially if it's like hidden away. Like it doesn't have to be like. As you can see, there's probably like 20, 30 feet before it hits the espresso machine, um, and it just sits back here. It only's on when it needs water. So when it detects that the flow is that's calling for water, it turns on. Um, so as you can see, I get water. And that. So, yeah. Um, I've had this thing for over a year now. Like I said, it, had, it did not have great reviews, but it was literally the cheapest one on Amazon. Um, but yeah, I've had no issues with it. Um, and I, I don't use it all the time, like, this is a mobile rig. This is actually the first time I've ever used this machine, like, a pretty good amount. So, yeah. Every now and then it does, like, the random, like, you'll hear it turn on. And I think it's just refilling the boiler, because I think it's, like, leaking or something. I don't know. Um, but it's not that bad. Like, it's, like you, get, you get used to the sound. It, it's kind of, like, background noise, especially if it's, like, hidden away in the cabinet or something underneath. But yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Like I said, there's no name on this or anything. But I always just keep spare fittings with me because you never know. If you go to an event or something and you're like, shoot, I forgot a T or something, an extra line, just in case. Um, but yeah, here we go.